Hey everyone, it's Mary Blocker from Mary's Stampin' Cafe, and welcome to you. If this is your first time with me, welcome, and go ahead down there and push that subscribe button and the bell. It'd be wonderful. <laughs> yes, if you're watching today, just go ahead and give me likes. I would love it. And those of you who are my subscribers, thank you, and you are in my prayers, and I bless you so much. Um, I absolutely love bringing videos and connecting with you as well as my in-person and online classes. And today it's all about a stunning, stunning Sunday with the Stamp Set Spotlight with Daisy Garden. And it is going to be a wonderful um, August specialty class. The Daisy Garden specialty class is towards the end of August and it includes this beautiful Daisy Garden background stamp set and supplies for five projects. I love doing these projects and creating them and, and, and just inspiring you for stamping. Now, I do wanna let you know, now through August 8th, you could get in on a mystery hostess using this host code. Every $25 you order enters you into chances for mystery hostess. Now, I, you know, if you're wanting to wait for some new fabulous products from the J July to December mini, you might want to wait till August 3rd to place your order because those products do not become available till uh, um, August 3rd. But right now you still can get some 15% off on some designer series paper. So eh, not too sure, you know, place an order now for those sale papers and then jump back on and place another order with that same host code to get in on Mystery Hostess. So that's great, guys. If you would share and like, I would love it. But Daisy Garden, let me tell you about it. I'm so excited. The Daisy Garden background stamp is one large stamp, but don't think that's limiting. Not at all. There are so many different things you can do with this background stamp, not just for backgrounds. And it coordinates with the Daisy Lane stamp set. Ah, oh, love it. Many of us have the Daisy Lane stamp set and we love it. We love the coordinating punches that go with the stamp set because we love to build our daisies and our flowers and it's absolutely fantastic. Since we already have those things, we just have another valuable companion, the Daisy Garden stamp. And I'm gonna show you today a beautiful, fabulous card that's part of my specialty class. I don't wanna spoil and show you all five projects that we'll do because I like there to be some mystery and some excitement about what some of the projects are. But along the way on my blog and Facebook and Instagram, I will post other sneak peeks of the projects. But to give you a little information on the class before we create our wonderful project is to talk about the class. It is in person August 28th and 29th, either day. That's an in-person workshop, or you could sign up for the to-go. The to-go option would I would package up all those wonderful things and send them off to you and give you a PDF tutorial of each of the projects for you to create on your own. Um, I'll have all the information down below for you that you could click on and get the information and register. I also put down below the information for the mystery hostess opportunities because who doesn't want free stuff? Now, if you wait till August 3rd, it's also celebration. And so not only would you be in for mystery hostess, you could earn some free, free celebration items. Uh -huh, double bonus. All right, let's talk about this card today. I'm so excited. So we are going to use the beautiful Evening Evergreen um, in color paper and the beautiful Shimmery Vellum in color. This is um, Pale Papaya. I have some basic white pieces and some scraps for punching. We're also going to use the fabulous, beautiful little Bumblebee embellishments, which you will get in the specialty class as part of your registration fee. You'll get a package of these beauties. All right, so let's go ahead. I am going to take care of first using our stamp and cut and emboss machine to emboss a beautiful folder. It's called the pretty flowers folder. The pretty flowers embossing folder. I really like this one. And it is not a 3D folder. So you will only need your base, a number three plate, and another number three plate. If it were a 3D embossing, you would just use your base and the embossing plate, which is gray. But this is a non-3D embossing folder. It's just very, very pretty. <laughs> I love this one. This one can add so much texture 
to your projects, it's great. So let's take a look at what we have here. Get my plates out of the way. Look at this beauty. Isn't that just stunning? I love this one. And now because I um, embossed it, you could even use this side and you can see all the, the cracked white um, in there. That would be just stunning too. Um, a debossed way. All right. Well, let me show you. I'm going to grab my cardstock here. This is basic white. And our card is going to go horizontal like this today. And so I, it does not matter which way our flowers go. It would be beautiful like this, but like this is beautiful too. And I'm going to share a little tip with you on adhering down your vellum. When you take this shimmer vellum and you put it against a pale or white background, these adhesive tape pieces will not show. Does not show at all. You would never know that I used my stamp and seal because you cannot see any of that adhesive. That's because I've put it behind a white background. If I tried to do the adhesive and then put it with the evening evergreen, you would see those strips just because that color of the evening evergreen would bump up against it and you would see it. But I'm able to just use that stamp and seal and not have any problems. So just a tip for you. Um, if you haven't, share. If you haven't, give me a thumbs up. And hey, if you haven't, subscribe. I would love to have you part of my stamping community, guys. Um, I just love, love creating and doing all this. Now what I am doing here is I'm going to be having this strip of beautiful evening evergreen th 3 8 woven ribbon go around the card, but I am also going to have a bow over here. I don't want to waste a bunch of my ribbon by wrapping it all the way around, and so this is a way I can conserve my ribbon. So then um, my bow will be separate, but that's okay. It saves me on my ribbon. And I'm happy about that. So for my specialty class, you will get all of the supplies, the embellishments, the ribbons. Um, this uh, embossing will all be done for you so you don't have to worry about having that embossing folder. Now, one of the things, once you register for the class, you will have, um, I will send you information on what additional things you may need. For example, We'll be using the Pale Papaya um, ink pad for this specialty class. We'll be using Evening Evergreen. If you don't have those pads um, and those inks, you would not be able to complete the projects the way that I have. Now, that doesn't mean you can't complete the projects. You would just want to use things that you already have on hand as inks and things like that. So I'm keeping my Daisy Garden stamp just right here in its case. You might want to use your Stamparatus, and Stamparatus is perfect if you are doing multiples of this. And I'm gonna share with you in a little bit what you can do to get lots and lots of flowers um, in different colors um, doing just that. Now our card's going horizontal. I'm not concerned about where I'm placing because I am gonna die cut it out. So I do want to have the flowers probably all kind of the center area. So I'm just putting my cardstock across and just giving a slight rub around. Now doing it this way, some of the things you might do, if you're heavy handed with your ink, you might get the halos. Um, but since I'm die cutting this out, I'm not worried about the halos. And um, I also don't stamp really, really hard and heavy because um, the inks on the stamp pads are very juicy. All right, so now I'm gonna take the beautiful scallop, um, contour scallop dies. There's several, they're so popular that come in the package um, and they coordinate with the color and contour stamp set that's in the annual catalog. Now I tend to love this area right here. I love that I'm getting a peak of this one here, I'm getting a full one of that and that and so I think that's where I'm going to use my stamp and cut and emboss machine to do that. So let me grab my machine again. I know this probably isn't very thrilling, so you can fast forward if you need to. I understand. But I'm going to set up again now. Now this time I am doing a die cutting, and so you will want your base, number one, your thin die adapter, number two, 
your number three bottom plate, which you can see my bottom plate is destroyed. <laughs> now, I wanna let you guys know something. When you have a rectangle or a square and it has long edges, you don't wanna run that through your machine straight through like that or like this. What happens is the roller has to jump over this. It's called a speed bump and you'll hear a big chunk when you go through with your machine. Same with here. So what I do is I tilt my image and then I go ahead and decide where, oh my goodness, I kind of dropped that right where I wanted it. I'm gonna come down just a little bit more. Right where I wanted it. Lovely. And then I'll put my number one plate. And as I, I roll this through, you will not hear any large crack or chunk sound or anything. It'll be very smooth. See how smooth that was and you didn't hear any chunk or bump or anything like that? That happens with these rectangle dies or anything that has a long straight edge. You wanna tilt on an angle. And look at that beautiful scallop um, piece of the background stamp that I had. I'm not using this as a full background stamp and I love the accenting that it's doing. And now I have some scrap here I can use. All right, let's bring our card back in and get going finishing our project. So this, I usually, a lot of times I won't do things right in the center, but I'm doing this right in the center this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this down. Give it a few little licks there. Make sure that's straight. And I'm gonna put that right down there. Love it. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab this scrap that I ended up having, and I'm gonna stamp my smile sentiment. The smile sentiment comes right out of the Daisy Lane stamp set. Um, the Daisy Lane stamp set, it's so great. It has smile and friend. The best moments in my life happen with you and it's your time to shine. It's just a wonderful, happy, sunny, summery kind of, kind of stamp set. I love it. You know, it also is really great in fall colors. Oh, fall colors are fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead, since I have the ink pad open, go ahead and stamp my sentiment on the inside. Now I have chosen a sentiment out of a different stamp set for the center part because it's, it's a wonderful one for somebody who maybe is just getting over being ill or a friend of mine just recently broke her elbow. It just says sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes. That's coming from the positive thoughts stamp set. I love this stamp set. It's in the annual catalog. This particular, um, leaf structure here is phenomenal. I love the vibe of this one as well. It goes great with the Daisy Lane and Daisy Garden. There's also in the Daisy Lane stamp set, this great little flower there. So I'm gonna stamp that. Why did I close my stamp pad? <laughs> so are you going ahead and making your wish list or looking through and seeing what kind of items you need to place that $25 order now through August 8th for a chance for Mystery Hostess? Oh. There's gonna be great things. And during celebration with the $300 hostess orders or party, you get an additional free stamp set um, called In Your Words. So that would be great. Now, something I'm gonna do here is I wanna give a little bit of that pale papaya more on this card. So I'm using my stamp and Write marker, the brush tip end. Now I wanna give you another tip here. You will not wanna just color hard and color in the centers of your flowers because the marker is watercolor based and the evening evergreen is watercolor based and it will bleed and you will get a mucky mess. Instead, take the tip, I'm gonna clean it here, take the tip and just simply go on and stipple, stipple these little dots, these little circles. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna create a 3D kind of textured effect. It's so cool. Now I'm not pushing down hard because you don't wanna bend your tip of your Stampin' Write marker, but just by stippling, it causes, I don't know, it's so cool how it makes it look like it's um, coming out of the page. It's just really nifty. I don't want all of the little dots colored in, all of the circles colored in, because I want some of that white showing through too, because that's just natural. When you see the flowers, it's natural to see some of those different uh, strains of color happening. But how cool is that? 
I'll do the same for this little guy in here. The stipples on this one, the circles, I mean, are very tiny. Uh, so I'm going to get more of kind of that, that uh, green kind of look. But now I'm going to come in with my Wink Estella and very lightly and quickly just do a little swirl around. I do not want to spend time on it because, again, Wink Estella is wet and it will bleed all of your things. But look at how stunning that is. That pale papaya is coming out in the flowers a little bit more, and it's just fun. Fun, fun, fun. I love it. I love it. Do you love it? Give me a little thumbs up. Give me a little share. It would be great. All right, let's put this on the inside of the card and see what else we're gonna do. So that goes on the inside here. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Very nice on the inside. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab my beautiful Evening Evergreen in color ribbon, and I'm gonna go ahead and make my bow. The easiest bow you'll ever make is a loop. Bring this around. Do not let it fold over or twist around and bring that up through the hole, and you have just created a beautiful bow. It's fantastic. There we are, I love it. Okay, now, I don't want the bow to be too, too big. All right, so let's go ahead and cut. Oh, my ribbon scissors are right here. Cut the tails. It can't be very long because this bow is gonna be right at the edge of the, the card, so I don't even want my little loops to be that big. So now what I'll do is I'll be putting this right here, which is perfect. And it looks like I wrapped the ribbon all the way around the card when I did not. So I will just need some mini glue dots. So this is another thing, for example, if you don't have mini glue dots, um, you can use some other form of adhesive to adhere these down because in my specialty classes on the to-go's, you would need to supply your own adhesive. I will include things like um, dimensionals, uh, for certain things and stuff like that, but you will need to provide your adhesives. Okay, so that's coming along just beautiful. We have something else to do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my scrap here of my Evening Evergreen, and I need my oval punch. I need my oval punch for two purposes. I'm gonna punch my smile, and notice you just wanna strip when you're doing the small oval because if you have a rectangle piece of cardstock, and you're just going to use the oval, you'll end up with another scallop there. And that's okay. I guess you could put it in a bucket for your scallop, um, your scallop um, ovals. And now for this one here, I'm going to do it again. I just want the small oval, and you can see how that's there. And that's all right. It's just scrap paper anyway. There we are. Now, I didn't want the scallop oval because it's going to take up too much room on the card here. So something that you can do is just go ahead and do another oval and you can give it like a little bit of a shadow end and it's gonna then make a division between the white on this and the white here. And, it's, and it looks great. It has a really good perspective. And it looks like it was supposed to be like that. Now you wanna make sure you don't give it too much and you don't want it coming down here too much. But there we go, that looks terrific. And that's gonna get put right there and we'll use dimensional for that. Coming along, coming along. Love it. So this specialty class in person is the 28th or 29th, Saturday or Sunday choice. Not finished yet. Um, the to-go will be mailed on the Monday, the 30th of August. And the PDF will be sent through email. The deadline for registering for the class is August 21st. All those details are in the links down below that you can find that information. But I hope to make this one just a smashing success. I think it's just a fabulous one. Now that's very, very pretty, very nice. Now. I think it needs just a little bit more dimension. And so let me show you one that I did earlier. Here it is. This one here has this daisy raised up. 
So I did another daisy, cut it out and popped it up here. And I think that just gives it a whole nother dimension. It kind of grounds the bumblebee, right? The bumblebee sticking out of the card right there a lot, but having this other flower raised up, I think it, it kind of gives that great dimension. So what I'm talking about there is I would just take another piece of cardstock. I would ink it up and stamp the whole thing. Then I would take my snips and I would watch TV and I would cut these all out. I would cut them out and I would put them in a little container. Then I would take another color, I would do the same thing. In fact, I would take a whole bunch of colors, stamp one of all of them, and then cut out these flowers to make a whole bag full of different color flowers. So as I'm working on projects with this particular daisy garden or the daisy lane, I have a bunch of flowers already done and I don't have to think about it. So I just, when I, when I decided where my flowers were here, which one would look the best raised up? And I decided it was this one right here, which is this flower right here. So I will do that and add it to this card, but I'm not going to take the time to do it right now because you don't need to see me cut. So, oh my gosh, you guys, there it is. How stunning, stunningly beautiful is this card? The papaya shimmery in color um, vellum and the beautiful evening evergreen ribbon and how about that stippling with the pale papaya stamp and write marker and then using the wink of stella it is just stunning so there is a sneak peek of one of the projects <laughs> in my um, daisy garden specialty class that's at the end of august i hope you want to participate in this it's going to be a fabulous class and look um follow me on instagram and facebook um, and any of those things in my blog because I will show a few more of the projects as sneak peeks, but I'm not going to show all five because I want you to have some surprise. So thanks again for joining me, you guys. Give me a thumbs up, share so other people might take the opportunity for this specialty class. And I appreciate you all so much. I can't wait to see you again. And so until next time, guys, happy stamping.